Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here. Today I'm making a video on which tight ends I think will make the Redskins 2020 roster. If you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content. So let's get right into it. And before I get into it, I made channel membership and it's finally working, so the link will be in the description. Join if you can. Thank you for everyone who already has joined. So tight end is, in my opinion, the weakest position on the roster. You could argue for left tackle or for a uh, cornerback, but I think tight end, at least for now, is the weakest position on our team. We signed Logan Thomas uh, and Richard Rodgers in free agency, and then we also signed Thaddeus Moss, son of Randy Moss, um, in after the draft as an undrafted free agent. And we still have Jeremy Sprinkle and Hale Henches, so that's about five tight ends. And uh, last year, the Redskins started the season off with three tight ends in Jordan Reed, Vernon Davis and Jeremy Sprinkle and so did the Panthers last year so I do think it's going to be three but it could be four due to our tight end group being so weak that we might need four and the roster spots have increased so instead of having um instead of it being 53 it's 55 and also more space on the uh, practice squad so there could be more uh we could end up getting four. Definitely, though, there's only uh, there's a maximum of four. We can't get anything more than that. So let's get started. So I do think uh, the one guy I think will definitely make the team is tight end Logan Thomas, who played for Detroit last year. He is he is 29 years old, which is concerning because not necessarily that's old, but he hasn't really developed yet. But if you think about it, he really only started playing um, tight end um later on in his career and um in like 2017 because you saw he got drafted in 2014 but didn't play 27 until 2017 so he was really learning the position and I think definitely um he's going to develop and you see every year he got slightly better so I think um with a uh, getting some more targets this year he could develop into a decent player I think he will make the team just because he's a big guy 6'6 250 and more importantly, Ron Rivera signed him in free agency. He went out of his way to sign Logan Thomas. So I think that he will be um, on this roster in 2020, especially since Ron Rivera signed him. And I think he might end up being the starter. He's not a bad blocker. Um, only had 170 yards last year um, with 28 targets. So um, kind of disappointing there, but did have around 11 yards per um, catch, which is not bad, but I think that we'll see how he develops. I can't remember if it's a one year or two year deal, but I think that he will make the team and compete for the starting job. And yeah, tight end. We, I really thought we should have gone off after Austin Hooper only about $10 million. I know $10 million is a lot, but Austin Hooper is close to an elite tight end, definitely an above average tight end. And that's miles ahead of what we have right now. So the next four guys are all battling, in my opinion, for the second and third spot, maybe even fourth spot. Um, you got Jeremy Sprinkle, and as much as people hate on him uh, last year, um, he had he played better than um, Logan Thomas last year. Started in 13 games, um, 40 targets, 26 catches, and 240 yards and a touchdown, which is a better better yards than. Um, Logan Thomas and also a better catch percentage. So he did play better than Logan Thomas last year. Um, and Jeremy Sprinkle, there's a stat on him and he's a top five block, tight end blocker in the NFL, which is very important. So I think, yes, he's a player of the old regime, but I really think um, if he does good in training camp, I think his familiarity with the team, with the offensive linemen, with Haskins and with others will help him uh, make this team. The only problem is, obviously, uh, Ron Rivera didn't sign him. He's from the old regime, which is definitely um, a chance that he doesn't make this team, like I said, because Ron Rivera didn't uh, sign him. And he really just didn't have a good year last year. He did have 240 yards, which isn't terrible, but he just a lot of drops from uh, when Haskins threw him the ball. And it's honestly going to come down to who does Haskins prefer? Obviously, Ron Rivera isn't going to go up to him and be like, which of these tight ends do you like better? But he's going to notice who he throws better to, uh, who he has better chemistry with, and that's who he's going to end up picking. So 
that's a quick summary of Jeremy Sprinkle. At the end, I'll give my predictions, but I the only one I'm sure is going to make the team is Logan Thomas. I think the guy who is second most, not necessarily second most likely, but I do think Thaddeus Moss ends up making the team, not just because of his uh, what he can do this year, but because of his potential. Um, last year, as a junior at LSU, the national champions um, had 47 catches, 570 yards, 12.1 yards per catch, four touchdowns. So pretty good player uh, last year. Obviously had so many weapons around, like uh it helped having Joe Burrow as his quarterback and also uh, some good receiving weapons around him. But that also could uh, have not helped him because there's not enough targets to go around. So, But I do like this uh, signing that we made, and I think he can make the team a uh, year one and not necessarily get a lot of yards, maybe uh, anywhere from 100 to 350 yards, but more importantly, come in and be a good blocker. He has a very good run blocker, which is very important. You want a good uh, blocking tight end. He's six foot three, 250 pounds, and he will be reliable. And I think him and Haskins are going to uh, develop a good connection. They're both around the same age, and I think uh, they're going to get have good chemistry. And I think Haskins is really going to like him. So my right now, the players I think are going to make it that I've uh, talked about so far, Logan Thomas and Thaddeus Moss. I know undrafted free agents don't make it all the time, but I think Thaddeus Moss, um, just his projection was anywhere from the third to fifth round pick, and he slipped all the way down to uh, being an undrafted free agent. And I think just because of his potential and what he can produce year one, um, obviously he could get more than 350 yards. I don't know, but I doubt it. But I think he's going to make the team. So next, you got Richard Rodgers, who uh, his dad is one of the linebacker uh, coaches for the Redskins. But I really don't think that has much of a factor. Um, but like just this, I don't even though his dad's a coach, I really don't think he's going to make the team. Uh, he's the one that I think won't make the team out of these guys. The guy I think that will make the team that has the least chance. Um, if you look at his last year, he played only one game. Um, the year before, played in seven games, only got targeted one time, and uh, got uh, seven yards. And then in Green Bay, he played really, really well um, for a couple, or not really well, but he, he was consistent and had a breakout year in 2015 with 510 yards and eight touchdowns. So he had a really, really good year that year. Um, but besides that, hasn't had good years at all. We'll see um, what does give him an edge over guys like Jeremy Sprinkle and Hale Henches is that Ron Rivera went out of his way uh, and no one else was looking at Richard Rodgers and he signed him. So that's kind of why I think he might end up making the team, why he has an edge over Hale Henches and um, Jeremy Sprinkle in that uh, regard. But I do, I don't think he's going to make this roster just he hasn't been uh, healthy the last couple years and hasn't produced really since 2015 uh played okay in 2016 but besides that hasn't produced so last guy that we're going to talk about is um Hale Henches who is very young uh tight end for us last year who kind of emerged at the end of the year I know some people really like him Ed Oliver loves him uh, I think he's decent um I think he can make the team. I think if the coaching staff from last year stayed, he would have definitely made the team. But he's kind of shaky on making the team just because Ron Rivera did not sign him. He was a fringe player that we got at the end of last or in the middle of last season. So I really don't know if he's going to make the team. Played in 11 games last year, started four of them, had 14 targets, uh, eight uh, catches for 103 yards and a touchdown. So not terrible um, if you look at the lat when he actually played. I think he has a chance to make this roster. And if he doesn't make the roster, I think he'll definitely, we'll definitely keep him around for the practice squad. But I think we will definitely keep, not definitely, but even though Ron Rivera kept three tight ends and we kept the, uh, three tight ends uh, last year, I think it's going to end up being four tight ends this year just because our tight end position is so weak that we probably need depth. Uh, and we want other guys to see um, their potential. So guys like Hale Henches, Thaddeus Moss, Logan Thomas, who have some potential, I think we're going to end up keeping. And I think, ultimately, I think Jeremy Sprinkle 
might end up making a team. Um, he's been working out with Haskins a lot, so I do think Haskins likes him. So my three guys that I think are going to make the team, Logan Thomas, Jeremy Sprinkle, and uh, Thaddeus Moss. Jeremy Sprinkle could end up uh, not making the team, though. I think a lot of people hate, uh, don't like him. I don't like him either. But I think if uh, Thaddeus Moss shows that he's a good and capable blocker, I think the Redskins will potentially let go of Jeremy Sprinkle in favor of Hale Henches or someone else. But right now, my three guys that I think will make it are Logan Thomas, Jeremy Sprinkle, and Thaddeus Moss. And then I think Hale Henches might make it if we have a fourth guy or if Thaddeus Moss does really good and takes Jeremy Sprinkle out of a job, then maybe um, Hale Henches will make it. I really like him, but we'll see. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this enjoy this video i might either post a player breakdown tomorrow or i will do a stream let me know what you guys want um and thank you scotty and um, andre hunter for uh becoming channel memberships if you guys can join the channel membership for some nice live streaming uh things you guys get new emojis and stuff and shout outs so thank you guys uh for becoming members and peace